This is going to be a video about basic rifle setup, and because it's me, we're going to talk about the cheap way to do it. Now, the three points you're going to want to have are a sling, a light, and an optic. Now, you're going to want the sling so you can be like me, look cool, not have to hold your rifle, or if you have to go to your pistol, instead of having to set your rifle down, you can just and grab your pistol. And that only made noise, not because I don't know what I'm doing, but because I'm in a very enclosed space. But the rifle is fine. Now, as you can see here, I do have my sling, I do have my light, and I do have my optic. Now, I also have a grip on here, because well, I, I, I really had no use for it, and I hate being wasteful, so I threw it on here. And I also have my camera, only because you guys need that sweet, awesome airsoft content. And then I have this on here, because... It looks absolutely stupid without it. Now, a gun you guys haven't seen yet, unless you know me personally, and even then some of you don't, is my M14. Now, if you notice, it has an optic, because this is my DMR, and it has a sling. It does not have a light, though, mainly because I don't use it a lot, and so it doesn't need an optic. And not, not an optic, a light. Now, as you can see, the sling's a lot more cinched up on this one. This is actually uh, one of my favorite guns. And this is a SEMA M14 EBR. It's the Evil Black Rifle. It was about around 260 bucks. I bought it for 220 with the scope because it was on sale. This baby is awesome. It has a 14 inch barrel and it reaches out 130 yards accurately. I've got a headshot at 130 yards. Although, it did bounce off and it hit some mesh on the guy's helmet. Anyways, I don't want to talk too much because you guys are going to call BS on it anyways. But, you know, it doesn't matter. I know what happened. I know that even if, it, even if you guys say that I didn't get the headshot, the whole point is it reaches out and touches people at 130 yards. It's 400 feet for you people who can't math or don't feel like mathing. So, yeah. And this is about 400 FPS. It's a little over, but... It's like 402 now, so they just let me slide, because our limit is uh, 400. Now, going back to the reason, and off of my rant, about why you want a sling, an optic, and a light, is you want the light just in case you're doing uh, your night ops. You know, maybe you have to go, you know, it's like 9 o'clock at night, you have to go get a, a, a drink of water from the uh, refrigerator, and you have to get out of your basement. So you gotta, you got to turn your light on, you know, and go and get your tactical water refill, and then come back down to your basement and computer to watch my video, my videos for some reason. I don't know why. Now, the optic. Now, I just have a, uh, a one power red dot that looks, that just happens to look like an ACOG because, gotta admit, ACOG is the best looking optic I have ever seen. Probably you have ever seen. It just, it just looks so nice. So you want this so that you can actually pick your targets, snap to them really easy, and so basically you know where your shots are going. Now you want the sling, Again, because if you're walking, you don't want to have to carry it, maybe, so that you can just have have it like this, so you can, you don't have to hold it, or you don't have to hold it because you need your pistol, because your gun's out of ammo, you don't want to put it down somewhere in case somebody steals it. I don't think I've seen anybody steal a rifle, but I don't know. Now, you know, you don't want people stealing your stuff. Or, you know, you need to immediately drop it because your mag is empty and you have to grab your pistol to get that awesome, sweet kill cam for the final kill of the round to, to end the game or whatever. Or, you know, I don't know. Or maybe you're hiking somewhere and, you know, you're an actual person that, like, hikes around with an actual gun and you just you just want a sling so you can walk around and have your hands free just in case you fall and something. You have to break your fall with hand. Slings are important. So... Going back to my DMR, an optic isn't always just a red dot. It could be a scope. You want this scope so you can actually reach out and touch someone. Because this is a 3 to 9 power scope. It's by aim, uh, yeah, it's by Aimpoint, I think. As you can see, I kind of dropped it. It bent a little. But it still works. It's great on this gun. It works really nice. It works. It's better than most snipers I've used. In fact, I think all snipers that I've used. 
and it definitely spits out <laughs> rounds. The funny thing is, my M14 has a higher fire rate than my M4, but anyways. So yeah, that's just the basics of a minimalistic design, I guess, for your uh, rifle setup if, you, if you're on a budget. You don't even need to buy, like, an expensive light or whatever. Like, if you ever look at mine, it's literally just electrical taped on there. And it's a little adjustable one, so I can pull it out to make it uh, more brighter in a smaller radius. Or I can keep it open and wide. So yeah. That's just what I have on my rifles. See you next time.